Hello everyone and welcome back to the group <laughs> channel. I am Abe with a mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today I would like to offer your weekly rune elemental reading for the week of August 4th through the 10th, uh, 2024. And I read intuitively so the messages will start with the keywords, I guess, from the books and then we'll go into what source is bringing in. Uh, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements and not the zodiac, you can check that out in a video I have down below. And if you've never had your charts done and you want to kind of get a little bit more into it, there there is a natal interpretation chart linked in the description. <laughs> in the description, um, it's through Llewellyn's website, and it's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just something that I'm really passionate about because I really like their products, and it gives you your normal. Um, zodiac or astrology reading with your 10 or 12 houses and what all the planets are but then it's a 10 to 20 page description of what that means and how it can apply to your life uh, it's not predictive in this aspect this is just the baseline of who you are uh, there's also a section in there that talks about elemental balances and alignments so it's something you can check out if you're interested with that, we'll hop over, and I say that every week, but it's, I don't know, to me they're really cool. So <laughs> we'll hop over to starting our Zodiac reading, um, and we'll start in the, or Zodiac Elemental. We'll start in the pattern of the Zodiac, which is starting with fire, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Get my symbol up here. And fire's first rune is the Hagalaz rune, which is this guy here. And it's hail, color of light blue, tarot association is the world. Astrology is Aquarius, so you're working with a little bit of air as a partner here. Signifies unexpected setbacks or problems, attempts to just let things flow, possible disrupt disrupting natural events. So fire, right off the bat this week, <laughs> not probably the best rune to have. Hagalaz usually shows up as a tap on the shoulder, a heads up, things are iffy right now. And what it's really calling you out to do or calling you to do is to go with the flow this week don't force things just kind of let it go keep your intentions and your goals and everything in in view work towards them but really do not try to like i'm going to push this through not this week <laughs> hagalaz usually shows up when you're there's something that you're not seeing there's a piece that you're missing this week and fire, it's saying if you push through, if you like that fiery nature, uh, that aggression of, I will make this work this week, you could be lighting a stick of dynamite. So don't push through. Just kind of let things go, even though you ha you will have urges at times through this week that, well, I need, to, I need to do this because if I don't, fill in the blank won't happen. Zerus is saying it's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen, so don't put so much stress on yourself about it. And that's where they're saying learn to go with the flow this week and that's not not something that i'm hearing is a <laughs> neat natural thing for you your second rune is i set the book down um the perth rune which is fate color of black tarot association is the wheel of fortune astrology is saturn mystery chance unexpected material gains surprises something hidden coming to light so <laughs> If you learn to go with the flow and allow the warning from Hagalas to actually take hold and be like, okay, I'm not going to push things this week. We're just going to let things happen. Let them kind of flow. That doesn't mean put yourself in dangerous situations, obviously. But it's not about doing the active portion of life this week. Perth is saying, because you have the Wheel of Fortune and then you also have the world, there's a lot of things that are coming available to you right now. And it's going to come in a way that is not a struggle, that is not a force. So fire this week, it's not about how hard are you going to work? How much are you going to push things and hammer things into the next way that they're going to be? This week, just let it flow. Your guides are going to be there to help you. They're going to help remind you of <laughs> this is not a time for fighting and pushing and all that fun stuff. This week for fire is there's a so there's things that you're missing there's things that you're not seeing right now and that's both of these runes 
if you learn to go with the flow, things are going to be tempered and it's actually going to work out better for you. But if you try to push it, Saturn coming in with Perth and Fate, Saturn is the stern father of the planets. He's the grumpy one that if you leave him alone and let him kind of do his own thing, life tends to be not so bad when you want to go against Saturn. Basically, you're just taking your table and flipping it. <laughs> so this week, just kind of go with the flow fire. Uh, but they're saying it's not going to be a bad week if you go with the flow. If you push, things that are unknown could be triggered and it's not, not the best options. So let's take a peek at our Earth family here. And again, these are uh, for fun, for whatever. If you get something out of it, then that's great. Uh, most intuitive guidance, uh, especially general stuff like this, it's used to kind of give you some heads up to things. It's not going to give you predictive information as far as on this date, this will happen. That's not how this works. So <laughs> um, with the fire one, just be heads up. Things might not be as obvious as they seem this week. And that's what they're talking about. And I say they as my guides. And that's why I reference up all the time. <laughs> uh, for Earth, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, our first rune, get the rune in the right hand here, um, where did you go? There it is. Is Inga's, which is a fertility rune. Color of yellow. Tarot association is judgment. Astrology is new moon. Completion of ideas or projects signifies new beginnings, a time of positive energy and good fortune. Earth, there's some seeds that have been planted. This week, you're going to see growth on those seeds. It's not saying that it's going to be birthed just yet whatever project you're working on. But this week, you're going to see positive growth of the seeds that were planted. It could be um, the next steps, the paperwork comes through on a business that you're working on. It could be a text back from someone that you've been kind of pursuing, maybe. There's just, there's a lot of potential in this. With judgment coming up, it's saying to hold your balance. Don't get so overzealous that you tip the scales. Balance in this aspect is be open to all the positive, but don't go chasing it. They're really wanting to say with this one, you got that new moon energy. So this is a time of growth and possibility, but that can go both ways. So that's where judgment comes in. Make sure you know what the next steps are that on your side. You're not going to be able to tell the other person because they're another person. But definitely know where you're at before you make those steps. And that's where the judgment comes in. This is a very fertile, positive time for you. Fertility can go one of two ways. That's the reason they're saying use your judgment as this energy is coming forward. Your second rune, and this might give us a little more clarity on the type of fertility you got going on, is the Thurizaz rune, God of Strength. Color association is bright red. Uh, tarot association is the emperor. Astrology is Mars. Protection, someone providing help or good news may come. So when you work with this type of energy, because Thurizaz is one of your uh, elder futharks, I guess you would call them. So there's a little bit less information there. But these two saying there's a lot of potential fertility. There's a lot of potential for growth. You've got that new moon energy. You've got the judgment you know, move forward uh, carefully. But Thurizaz is a god of strength. There's a lot of potency behind what you're doing. You've got Mars, who's this rather aggressive fire energy that's stepping up as well. So you have a lot of things that are available to you this week, Earth, and you have a lot of options. The, the uh, universe has set things up to be very fertile. What are you planting? These are things to think about. What have you planted and what is growing is the next part of that. Because with that, you have this energy of growth potential. You have the strength uh, with Thurizaz to take that to the next level. But they're also saying move judiciously. Don't get overzealous and jump into anything too quickly this week. Because it's in a growth state. It's not a birthing state yet. So things are moving along good. Uh, but don't go pushing things too fast. So let's hop over to our air family. And air covers... Excuse me. Uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And so air, your first rune. Hmm, that's interesting. You also are starting off your week with the Hagalaz rune. 
Um, and it's the Hail Rune, color of light blue, tarot association is the world, astrology is Aquarius. So this actually is not a negative car tarot uh, rune for air. It signifies unexpected setbacks or problems, attempts to let things flow, disruptive natural events. Wh air, what I'm getting for you is pay attention to your inner guidance this week. There are things that you are not seeing, which is... <laughs> not a very common thing for air because you tend to be pretty intellectual about how you do things and you tend to plan where most people plan one or two steps on a good day three you're looking at things four and five years down the road that's kind of airs uh, pattern this week though they're saying the more the other side of air is going to be coming forward and that's a little bit more of the airhead spaciness so allowing things just to kind of settle and not take the active role this week is what's being advised your second rune doo, 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 is Ansus and that is the ancestral and the god Odin so you've got some powerful energy coming in color of dark blue tarot association of death astrology is mercury signifies wisdom and help from someone older it can mean magic psychic power or initiation if you're starting on a spiritual journey things could definitely start to go deeper this week with um, Hagalas and Ansus. These are things that are lineaged in. This is a generational energy that's coming forward. With that, you have this initiation, this growth period where to grow, to be initiated, there's a sacrifice. That's the death card. With that being, that's not saying you have to offer a sacrifice like back in the day. That is sacrificing an old habit it's sacrificing an old belief system it could be sacrificing an aspect of something that you've been clinging to because this is the only thing I've known mm-hmm let it go <laughs> because there's times we'll hold on to things air where you don't see the Hagalaz rune you don't see the negativity that's tied to it because you're holding it here so you can't see what's going on around you what the Anzus is saying, and the god Odin, who sees everything, is saying, let it go, because when you do, you will see that it might not have been the best option. Just because you let it go doesn't mean you can't accept it later, but are you willing to sacrifice it to move forward? If you are, this is the week to start working through that. They're also saying, this is a really strong week for shadow work, so if you are in the process of... Uh, an initiation or a growth period this could be a week that you may need some alone time air you may need some time with a special um, they're saying you if you're um, for someone who works with therapy you might want extra this week and they're also saying that if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed and you're feeling stressed out about things this is a good week to reach out to someone who may have been through something similar if you're in a standard coven ID um, uh, path reach out to an elder and be like dude this is what's going on help me here or at least give me some advice um, if you're in business you could be asking for a senior to help you with some project you're working on and in life you could be reaching out to an older family member or an older friend to kind of uh, stabilize you a little bit because they're saying that this week is going to be a little bit intense with Hagalaz there's something you're missing there's something you're not seeing but with Anzus, the god Odin is saying, I do see it, but I'm the older person in your life. And it could be a simple conversation where you have that aha moment because of something that they have said, because they've already been through this at some point, And they may not even re realize that they have said the thing that you needed to hear. So that's that unknown play. This week is mysterious for our air family here, but it's also saying there's some dark times but it's not going to be something you can't handle. It's more just what are you willing to do to move forward? Because there's something that you're holding on to that's not helping you. So, and that could be something as simple as a dietary thing that you're like, I will not give up, fill in the blank. Put the ice cream down, it's fine. And I say ice cream because that's usually the one I have problem <laughs> with. So, our water family, your first rune is... 
Sorry, I literally just pulled out the exact same rune that I just did for air. So we'll stir these up a little bit better and see if it happens again. Because <laughs> that will tell me if that's what Source wants. Okay, so your first rune is Fehu. And this is one of the elders, so this is a very uh, strong ancient rune. And it is the color of light red. The tower associ tarot association is the tower. Astrology is Aries. So water, you're working with your contrary energy this week. It says good luck, success, fertility, and harmony. Fehu in this aspect, red, Aries, those are contrary energies to water. Just they're, It's the polar opposite energetically. But you also have the tower card. Water, this is kind of your thing. You tend to break things apart, take what you need, and move forward with it and leave the rest as, um, to be tumbled for someone else to deal with. And that's not a bad thing because they may need those pieces you're leaving behind. This week, water, it's really about learning to work with the more fiery aspects. You tend to be a bit more too much go with the flow. Sorry, they're getting loud. <laughs> too much go with the flow this week with the color of light red. It's saying you're not going to be hyper aggressive, but Aries is definitely saying stand up, step up and take care of things. The tarot association in that aspect is saying, there's something that you're kind of just, eh, whatever. Tower saying, tear that thing down, it is not helping you. Take the parts that you need, rebuild something better, discard the rest, but there is something, there's something that is building and going right now that needs to be stepped up. That your, your place in that situation, whether it's a work, or a personal thing. This is a t call to action. That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> a call to action for the water family. Let's see what your second rune is. We have the Manaz rune, which is man. It's the color of deep red. Still with that fiery nature, nature here. The tarot association is the magician. Astrology is Jupiter. Humankind, deep wisdom held in the body, mind, and body as one. Knowledge, memory, and the interdependence of the masculine and feminine within. So, did I read the right one? That would be something that I would do today. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, actually, no, that's not right. I apologize, Water. We have Fehu, and your second one is Dagaz. That's Dagaz. Not the, Manaz has got two legs on it. Um, Dagaz is your day, light blue, temperance, Astrology is the dark moon, awakening and clarity in uh, success, prosperity, and abundance. So there may be something that needed to be said for the Manaz aspect as well. But your standard runes are Fehu and Dagaz. With that, this is going to be an interesting week for you. There's a lot of potential power here. They're saying that this is a time to step up because there's... The fluid nature of water is great, but now is time to trigger some passion, to trigger a little bit of growth here. Um, they're not saying you have to be super aggressive, but definitely standing up for yourself is a call this week. And with the light blue temperance and dark moon saying, this is standing up because you've allowed yourself to be put in the shadows. You've allowed yourself to be seen as a little bit too submissive. Which always isn't always a bad thing because water tends to be able to do a lot more when people don't realize that they're there. <laughs> and that's what they're saying is this week it's time to let them know you're there. Being temperate about it. You don't have to be, you know, too overbearing. But definitely stepping up and if it's a work situation, you're like, I'm not doing that. Thank you. And it literally can be that simple. You're standing up for yourself. But you're also working with awakening, changing. Things are growing. Water, there's been an interesting dynamic for you for a past little while, and it's this building, growing, but not getting too aggressive, and this week it's saying it's okay to be a little bit more aggressive. So hopefully those resonate for you guys and gals out there. I'm sorry about the little mix-up, but they're, they're saying that there's that judgment and magician saying that you have the skills and the knowledge that's available to you. You have this innate ability, Water, to process things in a way that others the others elements don't always do and that also is going to help you stand up for yourself and that's the reason that's kind of funny that that was what was being brought up because you have the tools to go through this awakening you have the tools for this growth prosperity abundance 
uh, energy that's coming available to you and they're really wanting to make sure that you know this water it doesn't mean you have to tip the scale too far the other way temperance is knowing when to move how to move and moving with wisdom and compassion so overall this week looks like it could be a little bit interesting there's a lot of unknowns there's a lot of variables that they are giving heads up for this week most of which are just uh, like for water and or water fire and air going with the flow don't push things because by pushing you're going to trigger something that you may not even realize is happening earth water don't be a doormat but don't be too aggressive the other side they're saying there's a lot of potential here find your balance stay grounded so with that being said sorry for the little foo bars there um I will let you guys go. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, let me know your thoughts, and the comment section down below. Um, I do read all my comments, and <laughs> it's just it's good to get some feedback letting me know what's working, what's not. If anything is totally discombobulated, I'll deal with that too. Uh, with that, I'll let you guys go. Have a great rest of your week. Stay grounded, and you're not the doormat to anybody, so don't let anyone tell you you are.